Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be tying uh, a jig streamer or sometimes I call it a micro streamer because it is micro. It's very small. This is, uh, it's less than two inches long. Uh, it's probably one of the most simple flies you can tie. It's, uh, you know, if you blink, you might miss it here in a second. Um, it takes, honestly, may, maybe a minute um, because it's so massively simple. But what's so cool about it is such a simple fly is, is just so effective. Uh, this uh, was invented by Pat Weiss. He's out of Pennsylvania. He's a member of Fly Fishing Team USA. Lance Egan has really popularized it uh, because he's done a video. You can find this video on the internet. Um, but the reason I'm doing it is I had a number of requests for it, so I'm happy to do it for you. Um, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit at the end. So uh, the hook that I use, uh, typically, I tie it in three sizes, but this is the probably the most popular size I tie. Um, this is size 12. It's a Hannock 400, my favorite hook. I, I tie it in a 10, and I also tie it in a 14 with a little bit smaller bead. This is a 3.8 millimeter bead. I tie them in 3.8s and 3.3s for the most part. Um, I do size down to a 2.8 and a 14 when I fish some uh, slower, smaller print, uh, spring creeks around here. Um, the thread we're going to use is a UTC 70 in black. Just put it behind the bead. Okay. Super, super simple fly. We're going to be using black marabou for the tail. Um, just go in. I've already pre-cut some, but just... Take your marabou and size up about an inch or so, pinch it off. Um, that seems to be a really nice amount. So just an inch, grab it, pinch it. And you wanna make the tail, it's about, I just eyeball, it doesn't have to be exact, but it's about two hook shanks in length. Start it behind the bead, that's important. Don't go, don't start it at the base of the hook because you don't wanna, Put any bumps in it. Start everything behind the bead and cut it behind the bead. Now what's important here is just at the end, just do a couple of turns on the downturn of the shank of the hook. And you might think, why are you doing that? First of all, it's still going to stick straight out, but the reason you want to do that is because it's gonna, that will prevent it from getting tangled around the hook shank. Sometimes if you stop right here, if you stop here at it's gonna wanna tangle sometimes, so this prevents it from tangling. Go ahead and clean this up. It doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna put something over that. The secret sauce in this fly is medium UV polar chenille in black. So I tie two colors, black with a silver bead, and then I tie olive with a copper bead. So olive marabou and olive polar chenille. I don't cut any out. I just leave it in the bag and put it on my tie, tie flying table because, uh, did I say tie flying table? Fly tying table. Um, it, I don't like to waste it because if you cut off a length, you end up just wasting a lot. So it's just easier just to pull it out of the bag and let the bag dangle down and it's good. So go ahead and take this down, go back up. Now we're gonna take our rotary vise and we're just going to spin it and just make sure there's a cord in the middle and just make sure each one is wrapped in front of the other one and then when you get to the end I spin it around a couple times there just to make sure that the bead is seated and it's not going to slip out Cut off the excess. Now, as I do with a lot of flies, a little brushable super glue. And just lock everything in there. And then we're gonna whip finish it. A couple whip finishes is all you need. There's tons of super glue in there. And that's it. And she is done, right there. We got a nice jig streamer, or as I like to call it, a micro streamer. Uh, the best way to fish this is on a Euro rig. Um, 
uh, and I would dead drift it. And every now and then, if you watch my gunpowder video a couple weeks ago, when I put this on, if you look in the video a couple times, you'll see me just kind of slightly lift the rod up. Just give it a real, real, when I say slow, just a slow jigging action. I mean, you're not doing this, you're just lifting the rod tip up. So the, the fly is just kind of going up and down off, right off the bottom. And this marabou just adds tons of movement. And this is a great, great bug, especially in off color conditions. It's great contrast in the water this time of year. Um, it's just a really good bug and I um, think you should put it in your box. So once again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments. Um, more than happy to help you out. Tight lines, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.